On Sunday, downtown Montreal was supposed to be full of color, love and joy. Instead, there was confusion, anger, disappointment. There were people crying, there were people devastated. Montreal's Pride Festival was set to culminate with its annual parade. The past two cancelled due to COVID-19. Tens of thousands of people were expected to take over René Lebec Boulevard at 1 p.m. But just after 9 a.m., Montreal Pride announced online the event was cancelled due to a lack of personnel to ensure security. We came from Paris for the parade. I'm speechless and baffled. Matthew Velosa Quitero says his Afro Pride group spent countless hours and tens of thousands of dollars handcrafting costumes and creating a float for the parade. We have people coming down from Ottawa, from Toronto. We're talking about almost 2,000 people that are supposed to be parading behind a truck. People are showing up last minute and we have to announce the bad news and it's really sad. This group included refugees from countries where homosexuality is illegal, hoping to experience their first ever Pride Parade. This one's being cancelled, it's like, it's difficult for them. <laughs> also taken aback by the news, Montreal Mayor Valerie Plante. I was shocked this morning that decision was made without even trying to find a solution, maybe even talking to us, because that's what we do. We troubleshoot things. We sincerely, sincerely apologize. Montreal Pride Director Simon Gamache tells Global News he learned when he woke up his organization did not have enough people to safely run the parade and the cancellation is his team's fault. We have to close streets and all of that to assure the safety and sec the safety of all participants and unfortunately uh, we, we just don't have all those resources to do that. Many we spoke to didn't buy it. They know before for sure so I don't trust him. You cannot tell me you didn't know this prior. <laughs> afternoon, hundreds of devoted attendees arranged their own unsanctioned parades down St. Catherine Street, bringing lots of smiles, but organizers will be entering a tough week of questions and damage control. Dan Spector, Global News, Montreal.